When you consider the greatest railways in the world, which nation comes to mind first? China is a must. Since China started producing railroads and rails, their significance has grown globally. The backbone of their infrastructure class is initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative. Since China is the greatest at building roads, trains, and other infrastructure, China is advancing every day. It continually extends an invitation to neighboring counties to permit building on their territory. Some other nations do not like the collaboration, despite the fact that it benefits the parties economically. They don't want any political issue to go unaddressed. The US and Japan were not pleased when China assisted the UK in the construction of a $38 billion railway. However, why is that so? We will discuss why the UK chose China to build this $38 billion railway and why it rejected its close friends, Japan, and the US in this video. But before we go on, subscribe to Chai News to watch about the most shocking and amazing world projects. Ready? Let's begin! The first railway line was built in the UK in 1825, marking the beginning of the railroad. The UK has now reached the point when building a railroad will require assistance from other nations. A few important nations began building high-speed rail systems to complement one another around 1960. Japan was the first country to produce high-speed rail, followed by France and the US. Many nations also began to build new railway lines, although the UK took little action in this area. While other nations worked to advance high-speed rail, the UK had no notion how to do it. However, it has now realized the value of railroads and is asking for assistance. The US, Japan, and China were among the desirable possibilities for the UK. The UK was concerned that if it selected China, the US and Japan might not agree with the decision. The US and the UK are closer allies, therefore it never imagined that the UK would reject it right away. However, Japan, the first nation to introduce high-speed trains in the 1960s, believed they would sign the agreement. When China's standard railways were far from ideal, Japan began producing high-speed rail. Even when China first began to construct railroads, the necessary equipment was first supplied from Japan. Japan is hence recognized for producing high-speed rail, so they suggest that Japan take up the project from the UK. However, the UK had other ideas. After receiving rejections from the US and Japan, China intervened and offered to build this high-speed railway for the UK. The UK instantly accepted the offer. They agreed to the terms and granted China the project. However, it is commonly known that China just began manufacturing railroads a little over 10 years ago. Why then did the UK disregard Japan, the ancestor of American high-speed rail? However, go with China. While high-speed rail was becoming more popular across the world, the UK was not among the nations with the best railroads. As a result, political pressure was applied to the UK. The United Kingdom was motivated in part by the sight of other countries reaping the financial benefits of high-speed rail. After beginning to construct railway lines, the United Kingdom ran into a number of issues and rapidly realized the need to put out a bid and ask for aid from other countries. They were interested in constructing what is known as the High Speed, Line 2, or HS2 line. The length of this railroad line was exactly 400 meters. There would need to be 1,100 seats on the rail and the maximum speed would be 250 kilometers per hour. Traveling along this high-speed rail line will be faster and more convenient for residents, and it will cost them less money to do so. In addition, the local economic benefits will be improved as a result of this endeavor, and the community will get an additional 22,000 jobs as a result. In addition to all of these benefits, the construction of a high-speed railway in the United Kingdom will make it possible for technical advancements to occur. They will eventually acquire a custom to the process of building railways and may even start doing it themselves. The US, Japan, and China all submitted bids after the offer was announced, and the UK was aware that having Japan construct the railway would be less expensive. A political standpoint will also favor choosing either the United States or Japan. So why did it choose China? Japan is a seasoned expert in the construction of railroads and has already produced 600 intercity trains for the UK. The root of the issue has not been determined. Nonetheless, operators of Japanese trains have reported a number of very straightforward problems. As an instance of this, a few of the trains were completely unable to operate at all. Additionally, there were some leaks coming from the air conditioning unit. 
It is incredible to think that a highly developed country like Japan could make such fundamental mistakes. As a result, the United Kingdom decided against taking any risks at this moment. It is now unclear why the United Kingdom did not go with the United States as their partner. High-speed rails are rarely employed. There are many more types of transportation, the most of which are found within the country. The majority of people opt to travel either by car or by airplane. The United States of America has never been concerned with modernizing its railway infrastructure since they have never compelled them to do so. Despite the fact that they are capable of constructing railways, they are not the most skilled at doing it. The United Kingdom is in need of railways of a higher standard, but they are unable to create any. The United Kingdom was unable to grant a contract to a country on the basis of its advantageous link to the candidate. Instead, they looked for aid from a nation that could actually help them construct the most advanced high-speed railway possible and found that nation. That the United Kingdom's only other realistic option was China takes us to our last and most important point. Products originating in China are superior in both quality and cost than their American counterparts in every way. But as soon as the United States learned that the United Kingdom was considering China, they voiced their opposition to the idea. They made an attempt to put up a fight in spite of the tense relations that exist between China and the United States, additionally Chinese, and the fact that they received this effort from the UK caused concern in the United States. The United States of America was aware that China would benefit politically and economically, as well as increase their worldwide prominence if they were given the contract for this project. Despite this, the United Kingdom has chosen to collaborate with China on this project. Why, therefore, did the United Kingdom side with China over the objections from the United States? China is often regarded as one of the world's leading railroad construction nations. China is the only country in the world that has more railroad tracks than the rest of the earth combined. As a result, it is undeniable that it has reached the pinnacle of achievement in the art of railroad construction. In a span of fewer than 10 years, China has gone from being viewed as a country with only high-speed railroads to being recognized as one of the best at building them to the position of being one of the best at building them. The Chinese populace relies on railroads more than any other mode of transportation, especially in rural areas. In China, the railway, not the airplane, is considered to be the most efficient mode of transportation. Because of its reputation, the United Kingdom felt compelled to choose China for this particular transaction. Do you think that the United Kingdom made the correct decision when it decided to collaborate with China rather than the United States or Japan? Do you think that the United Kingdom will come to regret choosing China? And do you think that this will lead to political discontent directed at the United Kingdom? Share your opinion in comments. Also, click on this video to watch about another shocking project.